Hey, it's Brian with Old Man New Tech, and I gotta tell you, every now and then you order something just on a whim on the internet to find out if it's gonna pan out or not, and uh, if you can find a, just a little gem amongst all the garbage that's out there. So I went to exploring on Amazon and found something really interesting. Coming up next on Old Man New Tech. Hi, this is Brian Campbell with Old Man New Tech, a place where we take a look at budget electronics from a Generation Xers perspective. That's me. Uh, why do we do this? We do this to save you money. But I can't do this channel without you, so if you could, hit subscribe down below and smash that little bell, and you'll get notified every time I got a new video that comes out. And stay tuned later for Back in the Day. So today we get down and dirty with the absolute cheapest Bluetooth wireless speakers that are pairable that I could find on Amazon. Now this little journey started out with TronSmart sending old man new tech two pairable wireless speakers. There are 40 watt speakers and they were called Force from TronSmart. And if you remember, they were really good speakers. They kind of blew us away as far as the sound goes and they did a really good job in separating the stereo sound. So this kind of got me on a little kick for looking for how cheap I could find these speakers. So now I'm thinking, just how cheap can I find these speakers on Amazon? So after a lot of searching and a lot of tweaking the filters, I managed to dig up two parable wireless speakers and they are outdoor proof. And it's from a company called Coralfu. Coralfu. Coralfu? Coralfu. I can't really pronounce it or say it, but what I'll do is I'll post a link for it down below. So I'm talking super cheap. We're talking $10 cheap. I posted a link down below if you want to check them out yourself. I ordered the speakers and within two days they showed up at my front door and I began test, testing them right away. Get this, they're 10 watts, they're portable Bluetooth, they claim to be waterproof, but IPX5, which means that they're not really waterproof, I think they need to check their translation. And they can be paired with each other for true stereo sound. Pretty interesting, right? Brilliant! Brilliant! Did I mention they're $10 with shipping? You can't get cheaper than that. So let me give you my unboxing experience. So I had to laugh. This is the box they came in. To be honest with you, Mrs. Old Man wondered what I had ordered. This is about as plain Jane as you can make a box. Nothing but white cardboard. No graphics for you. $10 speaker. Yet, yet. So I gotta say, my expectations so far have been met for a $10 speaker. Contents. So inside we've got a 3.5 millimeter aux jack so that you can, if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can pair it with another device with hard wire. We've got a lanyard rope, nice nylon rope. And we've got a micro USB charger. I got about a million of these, but we can always add to that. I'm not expecting USB-C on these since they're so cheap. Finally, we have the speaker itself. And it's about, uh, about as big as my hand. Fits right in the palm. And notice on the front, we've got a nice material here. Pretty rugged, sturdy. Got rubberized edges. Flat black matte finish on the back. We've got our, our watertight seal here that hides, oh wow, look. Here's a, uh, a slot for a micro SD card. So you can add your tunes directly to the speaker if you want to. There's your aux jack. And then finally we've got our USB charger. So on top we find a kind of hard to see because of the same color of the texture of these buttons, but there's a power button on and off. We have a minus for down, plus for up, I'm assuming. 
and we have M for mode. And that's the speaker. Got our user's manual. Now normally I chuck these out, but this time I'm so interested in this speaker, I'm gonna actually take a look at this. And I was actually surprised by what I found. First surprise, do they have a name? Yes, the name, the X2s, my little X2s. Second surprise, the specs. Yes, I know I was getting a 10 watt speaker. What I didn't know was that it actually runs off of Bluetooth 5.0. What I also was surprised by was that we had room for a micro SD card that we could slide in there to expand our memory to basically whatever we want. What I was also interested to find out was that because this is a multifunction speaker, it also has the ability for FM radio. Kind of weird. And that mode is so that you can pick if you want to have it on FM radio, if you want to do a, a phone call, or if you want to be able to just have your Bluetooth setting go on. So let's put on this lanyard. Here we go, we've got a lanyard up. Simple, easy peasy. Now I've already got my other one over here. Already put together and unboxed. So now we've got two speakers. Now as far as charging the speaker goes, the charging of the speaker takes about two hours, but they claim to have five hours of life. I've tested it at half volume and it lasts a full five hours. And that's pretty good life for such a small speaker. Pairing one of these was not that difficult. All you gotta do is turn it on and basically your phone will do the rest. But I had an issue with the directions that came with the X2s and the directions refer to a play pause button that does not exist on the device. So I contacted the manufacturer and they sent me a response. Uh, the response was not as clear, but it did mention using the power on, power off button. I know this sounds confusing. I don't want to get into the exact details of how to pair this up, but you have to play with the power on, power off button in order to get it to pair. I'm posting the details of how to do it down below. If you got any questions for me, please hit me up in the comments section and I'll be able, happy to answer them for you. But once you do get them paired, from that point on, they will pair to your device. And I'm going to show you how we do that right here. I'm going to turn them on. First, you turn on one. You're going to hear this confirmation tone. Then you turn on the other. And you hear a confirmation tone there. That means they're paired. Now we have true stereo. Not that hard to do. So how do they sound? Are they going to be as powerful as a UE Boom or as powerful as my Tron Smart Forces? Let's find out. Hopefully you can hear it there. My daughter's filming on her iPhone right now. So the volume controls are a little touchy. You have to hold the plus button down in order to increase the volume. Now they're up all the way. Let's take a look at the range. Follow me on over here, Chloe. Put that one there. 
Johnson all the way over here. Now they're a good 25 feet away from each other. That is a lot of distance. So they're pretty good on the mid-range. Of course they have great highs because they're smaller speakers. And the bass really is not bad. I mean, for $10, I was expecting a whole lot of suckage here. But they're really not bad. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised I'm a little shocked, actually, that I could get such sound out of a $10 speaker. So you add them together, you got 20 watts of sound, and they can spread, be spread really far apart, and they pass what I call the Bohemian Rhapsody test, which means I'm getting great separation, great stereo separation from both of the speakers on, on two channels. So I'm actually blown away because they're so cheap, and they sound kind of cool. So my final thoughts on the X2s from Kerfool. Kerfoofle. Kerfoofle. Whatever. My final thoughts on the X2 Parable Bluetooth Outdoor Speakers. I tell you what, I was a little worried by the unboxing and just because it was such a plain box, there was no graphics on it. The company literally put nothing into marketing this product they got to be losing money on these. And i got to tell you, I'm pretty blown away by these. They sound good. They've impressed everybody I've shown them to. And they're simple. Once you get them set up, like I said, it was a little confusing at first to pair them. But once you do get it set up, they work great. Every time I turn my phone on or I turn these speakers on, they, they pair right away. They're easy to use. And they sound great. You can spread them 25 feet apart, sometimes even 30 feet. You can go at least 30 feet from your phone. And what can I say? I'm like amazed. So I have zero choice of giving this dumpster diving of a deal two big solid thumbs up. Hey! Hey! And now for back in the day. You know, back in the day, we had something called internet modems that operated at a certain baud rate. Baud. And it took a little while to log onto the internet. You had to share a phone line with the rest of your house. And once you logged on to a service like AOL, it took about this long to get to the internet. Enjoy. You've got mail. Hey, this is Brian with Old Man New Tech. We can't make this channel happen without you, so please hit subscribe and smash that bell down below. And if you're looking for product links, you'll find them there too. Thank you.